This video is a step-by-step -step guide on how to buy and stake Injective. The ING token is one of the top most popular tokens at the moment. And in this video, I'll show you where you can buy it because it's not exactly straightforward for most people to actually get Injective on chain. And then I'll show you the wallet that you can use to actually stake it if you want to participate in Injective governance and potentially earn great airdrops and staking rewards. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, this is not financial advice. These videos are purely for education purposes. Now let's get into it. In before we get started, if you want a full overview of Injective and its ecosystem, I have a separate video on that that I'll link down in the description. All right, now let's look at how you can buy and access Injective. First thing that you'll need is a wallet that supports Injective. And for this, I used Kepler. Kepler is a wallet for the Cosmos ecosystem. And for most of you, the best way to access Injective, especially if you're coming from a centralized exchange, is going to be to go through the Cosmos ecosystem. And as a heads up, this is going to require a few steps. However, if you use the Kepler wallet, you can do all of them within this wallet. And so this is what I use. If you use MetaMask, it's very similar. It sits in your, sits in your uh, browser like this. And so I personally use the Kepler wallet to access Injective. The first thing that you'll need is a wallet that supports Injective in the INJ token. And for this, I use Kepler. Kepler is the main wallet for the Cosmos ecosystem. And for most of you, you will need to access Injective by first going through the Cosmos ecosystem and specifically by going through the Atom token, because especially if you're coming from a centralized exchange, then there's not that many exchanges that allow you to withdraw INJ directly and a lot that don't really allow you to withdraw any Cosmos tokens besides Atom. However, pretty much every major exchange allows you to buy and withdraw Atom. So that's what we're going to use for this tutorial. But luckily, you can use the Kepler app to access any chain on Cosmos. And so that's what we're going to use. First, you would click to install it, which I've already done. And it'll appear in your browser similar to MetaMask or any other web wallet. The difference is that it's going to have all these different chains on there. So whereas typically with something like MetaMask, you could switch between chains, but you would be on Ethereum by default and have a lot of tokens on Ethereum. All these different balances that you're seeing here, these are actually all independent chains. And that's kind of the weird thing about Cosmos is that it's actually many different blockchains that are all seamlessly interoperable. However, the benefit of that is that it's going to be pretty easy, as you'll see, to actually convert our Atom to INJ once you get it into your Kepler. So to withdraw to your Kepler, you would just have to copy the address, copy Cosmos Hub, and then you would withdraw Atom as you would any other token. Again, that's ATOM is what we're using. And you can see I already withdrew one here. Next thing that we'll need to do is we actually need to get some Atom over to Injective the network so that we can swap it for INJ. And the way to do that is you would go back to your Kepler wallet, you would select the Atom asset, and you would change send to IBC send. So send would be to send it to another Cosmos Hub wallet. IBC send is actually to send it to a different chain. Remember, all these Cosmos chains are very interoperable. So we'll select Injective. I'm going to send not quite all of it because I want to leave a little bit for gas. I'm going to send 0.9 Atom. And I'm going to click on Next. And you can see there's a slight fee, about three cents. That's OK. We'll approve the transaction. And then it should just take a second to actually transfer it over to the Injective network. You can see here the transfer is in progress, transfer is in progress, and the transfer was successful. Now let's go over to Helix and see if our Atom has appeared. First thing we'll have to do is connect our wallet, confirm, connect using Kepler, approve, and look at that. Our Atom is now on Injective. I will convert the to INJ, and you click on Swap. We'll approve the transaction. And you can see here that it swaps successfully. And look at this. Uh, and one thing to note is I didn't actually have any INJ as gas. So on most chains, you would need to have INJ ahead of time to actually pay for the transaction. Injective lets you do it, even if you don't. And so that was pretty convenient. We now have our INJ. And like I said, it seems complicated. You got to go through Kepler and Cosmos Hub. but actually pretty straightforward when you get down to it. If you're coming from another chain like Ethereum, Solana, or other chains, then usually for that I use this application called RocketX, 
which has over 100 blockchains that you can swap between. And I'll link that down in the description as well. But if you're coming from something like Ethereum or Solana, then uh, RocketX would usually be my go-to. But if you're coming from an exchange, this is going to be the easiest way. Once you have the injective, next thing that you will want to do is to actually stake it. To do that, we're going to go to hub.injective.network. They have this nice convenient interface for staking. And we will click on Delegate Now. We'll, of course, be prompted to connect our wallet. We'll again use our Kepler. And look at this. We have zero staked right now. That's okay, because we're going to stake some. All right, and so let's find a good validator. And I would encourage you to do your research on these. Some of these validators have special rewards, potential airdrops for people that stake with them. Uh, and you want to know the reputation of the different validators that you're using. Personally, I'm going to use Stakecedo. It's run by a YouTuber who focuses on the Cosmos ecosystem, CryptoCedo, and I always like to support him. So I'm going to click and delegate this. And I'm going to leave some uh, just, you know, as good practice in case I'm doing something that does require me to pay injective as gas. But I'm going to do 0 0.3. And let's delegate that over to Stakecedo. Approve. And it should just take a second. All right, look at that. So now we are earning our 15.55% APR. And even better, may qualify for some airdrops because there's a lot of expected airdrops in the injective ecosystem. Now, note, if they have a minimum, 0 0.3 might not cut it. Cutoff could be 5, could be 10, could be even be 1. Uh, but if you're staking a few injective, then there's a good chance, I think, that you get some airdrops. Another thing you can do to increase your chance of getting airdrops is to go over to this governance tab and actually participate in governance because protocols are going to want to give governance tokens to people that are actually active in governance. And that's how you buy and stake INJ tokens. If you want more tools and trends in crypto, then I have a free substack, dynamodefi.substack.com, link down in the description. Sign up there and you get a weekly Monday newsletter talking about the latest trends, on-chain analysis, and tools in crypto. And if you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.